Hello everybody, here is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to dual stake both Bitcoin and Core in order to earn those enhanced yields. So the first thing you want to do is click on the validator section at the top of the page. This page shows you all the information about each validator, like their hybrid score, their core reward rate, and their Bitcoin reward rate, along with how much Core and Bitcoin are staked in each validator as well. And if you want to know more information about an individual validator, just click on it and this page will show up. And this is going to be helpful when you're actually choosing which validators you want to stake to. All right, so we're then going to click on stake staking at the top of the page. Here is the new and improved staking calculator. All right, so as you see on the left side, it shows how much Bitcoin you're willing to stake and how much core you're willing to stake. And then the right side shows your total staking reward rate. And below that, the projected annual rewards. If you didn't know, the rates are based on this tier system, which if you hover over the icon next to dual staking tiers, you can actually see how much core two Bitcoin is needed to be staked in order to be placed in each of these tiers. The more core you have staked per Bitcoin means a higher tier, which means a higher yield. In the replies to this video, I'll link another video that explains these tiers and shows you how you can get that max tier yield the satoshi tier okay so now in order to stake you're gonna have to connect your wallets and you can connect two different wallets for staking one for staking bitcoin and one for staking core so to stake your bitcoin click on connect above the max button right here then choose your preferred wallet. Now do the same thing over on the core side, click connect above the max button and connect whichever wallet you're using to stake your core. All right, once you connect your wallets, now you'll be deciding which validators to stake with. So under delegate to validator, you're gonna click on that validator and a bunch will pop up right here. And these show you the different reward rates for each validator. So pick whichever validator you are comfortable staking with. Then you're gonna go and do the same thing under the core staking amount. Pick your validator there as well. All right, then you're going to input however much Bitcoin you want to stake. And you're also gonna input how much core you want to stake. Remember what I said about the tiers, the more core staked relative to Bitcoin, the higher the yield. There's also this detail section in the top right that shows the calculated yields and the active yields that you are already staking. As you can see, if you change the amount of core staked, the yields change with it. All right, once you decide how much core and Bitcoin Bitcoin you want to stake, you're going to click on proceed to stake. Make sure the amount is right and then click confirm and confirm the transaction in your wallet as well. All right, once the transaction is submitted, you can view it on core scan if you please. All right, your core is officially staked now, and now it's time to actually stake the Bitcoin. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt my own tutorial video, but there's one thing I forgot to mention. If you didn't already have Bitcoin staked, you can skip this part of the video. But if you did, listen up. If you were already staking Bitcoin prior to this update, you need to follow these two steps. All right, so the two steps are, after staking core, you wait until the next 00 UTC. So you wait until the next day, claim all your rewards anytime after the 00 UTC to reset the tier calculation system. So to give an example, you already had some Bitcoin staked. Then at 12 UTC, you staked your core as well. You'll have to wait till the following day after 00 UTC, claim those rewards, and that will put you in your new tier. Make sure you complete both those steps. Sorry for any confusion, back to the video. If you didn't know, this Bitcoin you're staking is non-custodial, it remains in your wallet. But how this works is you actually put a hash time lock contract on it. So your Bitcoin is locked for that amount of time, you can't move it, but it stays in your wallet. All right, now as you see, there is a reward address on core chain option. In there, you wanna make sure that wallet is the same as the wallet you use to stake the core. You're then gonna click on the calendar icon and decide how long you're comfortable locking up your Bitcoin for. All right, once you choose your date, you're gonna see there's four options down at the bottom. This chooses how quickly your transaction goes through. Be careful with the slow option. This actually could take days to confirm, so I'm just gonna go with standard. Then I'll click confirm and confirm it in your wallet as well. And then the top right, as you see, you could go to my staking for the details. And then as you can see, my core is staked and my Bitcoin is pending. So we'll get back to that in a second and be ready to wait like an hour or two before your Bitcoin staking actually comes through as valid. All right, I'm back about an hour and a half later. And as you can see, it is confirmed. As you can see in the top left, I now have 0.1 Bitcoin staked and 80 core staked. And I'm earning around 15%. By the way, the yields and the tiers can change. They are market dependent. All right, that is the step-by-step -step of how to get these enhanced yields with dual staking. I hope I did a good job explaining, but if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.